Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it still bullish trend? Let's move to 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for Vibo. My name is Vadik, let's start from index chart. Dow Jones just trade all day sell off. S&P 500 also it did open with gap up and did sell off all day and close flat. And Nasdaq it was kind of flat. It did gap up and did flat all day. Now let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. If you want to learn more about Vibol setup, just go to the description. There is the link about Vibol setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I am using simple moving averages white line MA200, purple line MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10 and green line MA5. Below MACD indicator lines are SI indicator lines. That's all very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my chart you see green line. Did bullish crossover over red line, it's an entry point for long position. When green line did bearish crossover over red line, it was entry point for short position. That's all. Very simple. As of now, MA5 did bullish crossover over red, but last bar is still below 5 and 10. It did touch 50, maybe it will bounce from 50. So far, trend is bearish for DXY USA dollar. At the same time, you see MA100 purple line did bullish crossover. It is bullish setup. That's why I ca I am expecting to, to have some bounce from this level. Maybe tomorrow it will be bounce and it will be bearish day for equities. Now let's move uh, let's move to use NASDAQ. Uh, Nasdaq Q's last bar still above all moving averages, bullish trend on all indicators, daily time frame. Still bullish trend, 4 hours time frame. Let me do what? Let me do this one. 4 hours time frame, last bar above all moving averages, still bullish trend on all indicators. Same 1 hour. Bullish trend, it has bearish divergence. You see, price action is uptrend bullish, MACD bearish, RSI has bearish divergence, multiple bearish divergences. Setup is bullish. You see, a purple line did bullish crossover, still setup is bullish. Bearish divergence is bullish trend on all time frames. SP 500, let's start daily also. Last bar, still above all moving averages, still bullish trend. MACD RSI bullish also on daily. 4 hours time frame, same bullish trend on all indicators. RSI closed over bad territory, but trend is bullish. 1 hour time frame, still last bar. MA5 did bearish crossover, but it's very light. It's not. We need to move it below 20 to have confirmation. MACD, bearish divergence, price action was uptrend, bearish divergences on MACD, bearish divergence on RSI. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. VIX. VIX today was very uh, almost yeah, 8.5%. 8.5%. Percent. It means investors they are buying some protection. <clears throat> Something can happen tomorrow, we'll see. Because of the volatility index. It's not expected high green day like we had today. Dow Jones daily last bar still above all moving averages, still bullish territory, bullish trend on all indicators. Four hours time frame, same story, last bar still about all moving averages, bullish trend are assigned very overbought territory. One hour time frame, 
MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20. It's almost touched 20. Bear, it's already in bearish reversal on one hour time frame. MACD and RSI already did bearish crossover also. Bearish reversal on one hour time frame for Dow Jones. IWM, Russell 2000. Russell 2000. IWM daily. Still last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. MACD, RSI, bullish also. For hours time frame, MA5 kind of joint merge to MA10. It's ready to do bearish crossover, bearish reversal, still sideways. One hour time frame, same, still sideways trend above MA20 in the bullish territory. Now let's move to Apple. Let's see Apple, Apple daily. Apple, it was nice bullish day. And last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend on all indicators. Four hours time frame. Last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend on all indicators. RSI very close to overbought territory. One hour time frame. Last bar above all moving averages. Bullish trend. Bullish trend on all indicators and bearish divergence. You see price action uptrend. Bearish divergence on MACD, on RSI. Bearish divergences. Now let's move to Tesla. Tesla daily. Tesla daily, MA5 did bearish crossover, last bar still dancing around MA50, MA20. It's in a reversal state, but still above MA20 bullish territory. All indicators in reversal state. Four hours time frame, it is bearish reversal trend. MA5, 10 and bars below 20. And yeah, it even touched MA50, kind of bounce, but still, still bearish trend on all indicators. One hour time frame, it did touch MA200 white line. It did bounce, did bullish crossover. And MA5 and 10 and bars now above MA20. Bullish crossover on one hour time frame. NVIDIA. Let's start NVIDIA. Daily time frame, last bar still above all moving averages. Bullish trend. NVIDIA has... Earnings report on May 22nd. Bullish trend on all indicators. Four hours time frame. Last bar still above all moving averages. Still bullish territory. One hour time frame. Same. Last bar still above all moving averages. Still in the bullish territory. <laughs> Nvidia still bullish. Microsoft. Let's see Microsoft. Let's start daily. Last bar still above all moving averages. Bullish trend on all indicators on daily time frame for Microsoft. Four hours time frame similar. Last bar above all moving averages. It's kind of dancing around MA100. But trend is bullish on all indicators. One hour time frame. MA5 did bearish crossover over yellow line over 20. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators on one hour time frame only. Amazon. Amazon after bullish run, it did kind of reversal. Still MA5 above MA10 and bars above MA10. Still bullish territory on price action on all indicators. Four hours time frame. MA5 did bearish crossover over 10, bearish reversal signal. MACD, green line, did bearish crossover over 10, bearish reversal signal. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators, still last bar above MA20. It's not confirmed bearish reversal trend, just signal. One hour time frame, it's already bearish trend, right? MA5, 10 and bars below 20 and 50. Bearish trend on all indicators for Amazon. Google. 
let's see google google it was nice a lot and was rebound it's kind of was very volatile day still bullish trend it started reversal still bullish trend on daily time frame four hours time frame it did reversal it did pull back and today it did bearish crossover Still above MA20, still in a bullish territory, all indicators already did bearish crossover signal. Possible it's a signal for the reversal. Still in a bullish territory, but signal is bearish. One hour time frame, you see it did bearish reversal, and did bearish even, it did gap down, move below MA, below all moving averages except 200, and it did recovery at the end of the day, it did recovery and closed above all moving averages it did bullish crossover on one hour time frame now it's a bullish google is bullish meta let's see meta daily daily ma5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 last bar about 20 bullish crossover on all indicators bullish still bullish trend four hours time frame same bullish crossover and it did touch the MA50 and looks like it was rejected from MA50 and did bearish reversal, bearish reversal signal. Still about 20, but bearish reversal, looks like it's a bearish reversal signal. Let's see, one hour time frame, it's a bearish reversal trend. MA5 and 10 did bearish crossover over 20 and last bar touched MA50, bearish reversal signal but MA50 strong support it can bounce from it but so far signal is bearish that's all that's all from my review let's do summary you say dollar still bearish it is bullish for equities but because of the volatility index looks like tomorrow could be a red day could be a red day tomorrow for all or Qs and S&P 500. Um, that's all. So far, trend is bullish. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and uh, uh, edu educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for the educational purpose, we are using Paper Trading Simulator. Now, thank you for watching Simple Trading Style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.